Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the Aviation Pro channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to improve the performance of Flight Simulator 9 on multi-core processors. You may know that Flight Sim is uh, running on one core all the time. You can see this in this uh, example that number 0 is running at 100%. 100%. I've got a way to solve this. It's uh, actually very simple. Uh, first of all we have to go to the uh, process tabs. I'm sorry it's all in Dutch but I'll uh, translated for you. So all we're gonna do is spread the workloads over multiple cores and to do that we have to uh, play around with the administrator lights. We're gonna click on uh, view processes of all users and we have all the processes of all users right here. Then we're gonna find the uh, FS9 process and right click on that and then we're gonna click on the uh, set affinity and then we get a list of all the uh, processors right here. So uh, we have all the processes from process 0 to processor 7 and all we're going to do is deselect all and then step by step we're going to select every single core. So we have core 1 now, core 0 and we can see that core 0 is working at 100%. Now we're going to deselect core 0 and we're going to select core 1. And let's see what happens. We'll see that now core 1 is working at 100% as you can see. So we're going to repeat this step for every single core we have. Um, I'm not sure if you really need to do that but uh, just to be sure I'm going to do that. And um, it only takes one minute uh, of your time of course and um, before every uh, flight you're gonna make before every startup or flight simulator you have to repeat the step but it surely will improve your performance and for the last part we have to select all processors and we're gonna uh, take a look what happens so we're just gonna let flight simulator do a little bit of work and we're gonna see what happens and as we can clearly see now every processor, not every processor really, but multiple processors are doing uh, a bit of the work. And by sharing this workload over multiple processors, it increases your perform performance on Flight Simulator. Um, when I'm fl uh, flying at Mega Airport Amsterdam with uh, about scattered clouds, I have about 10 frames per second uh, increase. So that really helps um, and it's very easy step as you can see and if you want to of course you can also um, select the priority of flight simulator just by right clicking on the uh, flight simulator process and then select priority and select on high. This is optional it's not really necessary just the first step I showed you is really necessary for a better performance. So guys, I thank you for watching. I hope this really helps. Um, maybe it works on more games as well. So you can uh, try it if you want to. For now, I thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.